welcome to the River Cams. And for those of you who are joining us for the first time, my name is Steph. And the River Cams are these very special stationary cameras that we have placed on the world famous Mara River here in Kenya. And I do have some elephants. There's the river there, just to give you an idea of where we're situated. We're located on the opposite bank. And as you can see, the functionality of these cameras is something absolutely spectacular. And thank goodness for that. All the technology nowadays allowing us to do this, oops, and it escapes us a little bit <laughs> with a bit of a gremlin coming in from time to time. We do have a herd of elephant that is exactly correct there. And quite unlike the, what is most commonly seen here is these elephants all have relatively short trunks. One thing that has surprised me about the Kenyan elephant herds is the fact that the females all have beautiful ivory, with the exception of any elephant that I've seen in this herd. But what this herd does have is a tiny little baby. And just have a look there. Isn't that cute? Now, there's every expectation that this female elephant that you're looking at now is walking with her two calves, the newest edition, and then a calf, a young bull calf from the looks of it, from a previous birth. And that the youngster that is on the far left-hand side of your screen is either a cousin, because it looks, they don't look like they're 22 months apart, do they? That's the gestation period of elephants. And plus, well, it's not only the gestation period, it's also the weaning phase of two years before an elephant is likely to have another baby. Although, I don't know. What do you think? Are we seeing multiple generations there? Don't forget, this is an interactive show, of course. And just because I'm not sitting on a car, you can still ask me questions using the hashtag Safari Live. Look at that beautiful ivory from the front there. You can absolutely see that that symmetry that is present in these Kenyan elephant herds is just is absolutely stunning. Much, much better than what we get in the Kruger National Park. And in actual fact, in a lot of other African parks that I see, quite often you get elephants with asymmetrical tusks uh, or very short, stunted ivory. In Kenya, in the Mara Triangle, what I have noticed is very symmetrical tusks, meaning that they are the same length, same width, and same angle, uh, or same, not same width, but same circumference, same diameter, and at the same angle away from the lip. Uh, as each other, as opposed to tusks that look like they've been randomly stuck on these elephant faces, as you would find normally in either Botswana or South Africa. Just have a look at that youngster playing over there. Isn't that the cutest thing that you've ever seen? So, Paula, I was just about to answer the question that you've just so kindly asked first. You want to know how old that elephant calf is, and I'm busy having a look at it now. So, at about a year, elephants get and erupt their first set of tusks. And if we zoom in here, we won't be able to see tusks there. Also, newborn elephants are fairly hairy, and I don't see any, any evidence of fur covering that youngster. I can't see any milk tusks sticking out. At about six months, they have a set of milk tusks that stick out. So I would say that that elephant calf, you always got to look at it in relation, as, uh, as Noelle was saying yesterday during her drive. You've got to have a look at the relationship between the mother's size and the calf size. I'll give you a good idea. Small elephants have small babies. Big elephants have big babies. The fact that that little Ellie has got some control over his trunk says it's not younger than three months. I would say that all things considered, at least to my abilities, that that little calf is anywhere between three and about five months old. That is what I would suggest is the, uh, is the age of that little calf. And you can see, still busy picking idly. It's called a precocial behavior. It's what happens when a calf is born fully formed and fully functional, able to walk from close to birth. Quite often they have this behavior that mirrors their parents' behavior. So what mommy picks up, baby picks up. What mom puts into her mouth, baby puts into his mouth. And you can see there, oh, there's a bird, going to chase the bird. That's a plover. Young elephant are very, very cheeky. You can see that head up, ears out. That is a typical threat display for an elephant. Wasn't that cute? Though? These little guys, you know. Are they coming down here? Yeah, there's the oldest cow on the left-hand side. That would be the matriarch of this particular herd. The matriarch being the, the, uh, the oldest, wisest, fittest cow elephant in the herd. And... Um, it would be her decision where the herd goes, what the herd does, does it flee, does it corral around the youngsters and defend, 
what do they eat, where, which direction they walk in that day, um, do they walk to the mountains, do they come out to the river. Obviously, this, uh, this matriarch has decided that today is a good day to walk on the river for these elephants. They'll feed now probably between 12 and 16 hours a day, and they will sleep, usually at night time and flat on their sides. Not all of them together, of course. It uh, is not a very safe survival strategy sleeping uh, out here all together. And so what usually happens is the youngsters fall asleep and one or two adults, and then the adults rotate through sleep. And although they sound active most of the night, they'll be looking for a place to sleep for the rest of the evening. Let's see if there's any other elephants around here. Monique, you wanted to know if any animals have noticed the river cams. Yes, I've seen buffalo notice the river cams, hippo notice the river cams. There was an elephant right up against the river cam the other day. Um, the elephant, funnily enough, didn't actually bat an eyelid at these river cams. Um, we've seen lion look at the movement of the river cams. Crocodile, which are usually super um, vigilant, don't seem to mind the river cams at all, whereas if you were to even poke your head over a rock at the back of those elephant, crocodiles would see you and scurry into the water. So I think a variety of different animals have a variety of different reactions to, uh, to these cameras, but we've seen no negative reactions whatsoever. And in actual fact, we've seen, we've seen uh, behavior that you wouldn't normally see under any normal circumstances without these cameras. They're truly fantastic. And for the rest of this drive, I'm looking forward to sharing whatever I can find around the four cameras we have access to on this river. But without further ado, why don't we send you through to uh, Taylor, who's sitting with some lions of her own.